This is our first time in Tirana. They say that Albania is truly a hidden gem and we've heard that this is a beautiful country. So we were pretty sure that this is true for the capital as well. We couldn't wait and headed to Tirana. So please sit back and enjoy this great journey with us. We are here in Tirana, Albania and we are very excited what the city has to offer. We have no plan until now. We have three days and we are really excited. So let us show you Tirana. After arriving in Tirana, we first went through the Devliskanderbeg Square, which is actually the city center. On one corner is the Mosque of Atham Bay, which is a really interesting 18th century building. In addition, there are beautiful wall paintings inside. And then we went up the stairs to the top of the 35 meter high clock tower. You have to climb some stairs, but it's really a good view here at the tower. See? We just visit the Bank Art Museum behind me. It's quite interesting. There are hundreds of bankers built during the period of Stonism in the city. And you can visit, I think, two of them actually. And there are tunnels uh, beneath the town, which are, I don't know, hundreds of kilometers long, so it's quite interesting. To give you a little more of the background, Bank Art is a historical project that is telling the story of the former communist regime and will preserve the collective memory of that era. They are located in former nuclear shelters. The dictator Enver Hoxha once had these created out of fear of an invasion of his country. If you descend into the bunker here at Bunker 2, you enter many corridors and chambers and you can find out more about, for example, the network of secret service employees, the prisons for politically persecuted people or eavesdropping methods. And then we went to the Pyramid of Tirana. This building was once supposed to serve as a museum about the legacy of Enver Hoxha, the longtime leader of communist Albania, who had died three years earlier. The structure was co-designed by Hoxha's daughter and her husband. After the collapse of communism, the museum was closed. Now it is used as offices and studio spaces which are open to the public. And of course, as a great viewing point. Now we try to go by cable car to the Mount Daiki. Um, I think we will have great views, so let's see. Hi, we are now on Mount Daiki and enjoying the view. Wow, see what a spectacular view from here to Tirana, but we have to hurry up because the bad weather I think is coming and also the last cable car runs in I think five minutes or so.
Coming from Mount Daiti, we again took the bus to Skanderbeg Square to eat something. We found a lovely street food festival with delicious food and live music. Our plan for now is to go to Dürres. It's a coastal town here, not far away, and we try to catch the bus. Here's the main bus terminal, and now we changing the buses to go to Dürres. We are now here in Duras. We arrived here. I think the journey took us 90 minutes, including um, break at the terminal, and now we discover the city. This is the coastal town of Dures. You can really make a good day trip from Tirana to this city just to enjoy a little bit of beach life. Yeah. We found the best playground in Dures. Here in Tirana we've had an incredible time. It's a really exciting city with a relaxed vibe. And we also enjoyed the great trip to nearby Dures. We enjoyed all of this so much that we would love to see more of Albania. Maybe sometime soon. <laughs>